giant river otters, anteaters, and the arapaima are some of the most incredible animals found in the North Rupununi. This region in Guyana is known for its abundance of wildlife. For this reason, it attracts scientists, tourists, fishermen, and other nature lovers from around the world. It is also home to many traditional communities that carefully manage their rich natural resources. To ensure a bright future for people and animals, community-owned wildlife clubs were developed to inspire future generations and local conservationists. Will our children be able to enjoy this natural paradise? The answer is yes, if we involve children in sustainable wildlife management now. When I first started as a wildlife club member, I was probably, I can't recall, but as, as long as I can remember, around seven, eight, because yeah, that's the um, age that we mostly accept in the wildlife club, and I'm 22 now, and I'm still with the wildlife club, and as the coordinator now for the wildlife club. Yeah. Wildlife clubs bring together youth on a regular basis under the mentorship of a club coordinator. Together, they work on a variety of wildlife projects environmental education, collecting scientific information, monitoring bird and mammal populations, celebrating wildlife events. I'm the coordinator for the Favorite Juju Wildlife Club. We do bird monitoring, mammals monitoring. We go on educational trips. And we also wanted to start do the amphibians and reptiles monitoring. Monitoring helps the youth spot changes in wildlife numbers and identify animals that need protecting. The clubs also organize special wildlife events to share their ecological knowledge and advocate appreciation for their environment. For example, they might showcase emblematic species. The clubs also help develop the children's leadership and presentation skills as well as numeracy and critical thinking. Wildlife clubs promote environmental stewardship and many former club members are directly involved in conservation as guides, project leaders, community leaders and teachers. The North Rupununi District Development Board, with support from the Sustainable Wildlife Management Program, is now working with six wildlife clubs in six communities. Fairview Wildlife Club members are collecting information on bird species to encourage tourism. Waweta Junior Wildlife Club members are using camera traps to see whether mammals are more active during the day or at night. Yupakari Village Wildlife Club is studying and conserving reptiles and amphibians. The remote Klaimata Village Wildlife Club members are studying rare birds to see which habitats have the highest numbers of the crested doradito and black mannequin, both of which attract tourists. Sarama and Rewa Junior Wildlife Clubs are studying which mammals are found during the rainy and dry seasons using camera traps. The camera trapping is important to us and it helps us to know what uh, species of animals is within the area and we get to know how often and um, the time of the day they be around. And it's very important to us and it helps us to get data of the animals around us. The wildlife clubs in the North Rupununi are certainly having a major impact. We are seeing a difference where youth are becoming well informed and equipped to manage their resources and becoming more confident as young leaders.